Hi guys, this is Smart Physics tutorial for um, polarizers and a quarter wave plate. Okay, so we have um, a wave that's polarized in the y direction along y, and it's coming this way. We have um, the transmission to two polarizers. This guy, this guy, this is 180, this is um, theta 1. So the first question is asking, by the way, you can read the question down in the description below. This quarter wave uh, makes um, a 45 angle. Okay, 45. So the first one is asking, what is the intensity of the beam immediately following the polarizer whose transmission axis is aligned with the x axis? So they want the I here. Okay. Let's call this I1. So when the light come here, this thing doesn't affect the intensity. Okay, just I think make a difference in the angle. Speeds one side. Um, so yeah, this one will come the same as here. The intensity. So I1, which I call this I1, will be equal to I naught over two. Okay. So it's 5 to 5 divided by 2, which is 2, 6, 2.5. Cool. Watt per meter squared. All right, so question number two is asking, what is I final? So I final will be here. So I final will be, which is the I1, which is this value, I1 times the cosine of this angle because the light now is coming like this so it makes an angle um, the theta here so cosine of the theta squared so this will be equal to 2.62.5 times the cosine of 69 squared and this was equal to 33.71 per meter squared all right, so question number three is asking. This guy, I really, I'm going to get back to you with this, but here's the um, equation to solve it. So it's E, Y final over E, initial, that's what they want, will be equal to the sine of theta, this is theta, times the intensity final over density initial okay so for this guy I got um, 0.2365 okay all right so question number four so question number four is asking um, so this guy so let me draw this the Q P so now this guy is here is um, with an angle and this guy here is the one with the 80 180 degrees okay so they want the I final the intensity after passing through all these okay so it's simple so I final will be equal to, so we're going to start with this, It's it, the wave is coming in the y direction also in this game. So I final will be equal to, the the angle will be between this and this is um, is I initial times the cosine of 90 minus 69 squared 69 is the theta for me this theta here okay um yeah the, the theta should be this guy here okay just the phi but this is my theta here the one you have also is theta one now let me draw it like this let me say it like this i initial cosine of 90 minus theta square Cosine of um, 
theta 1 squared. Okay, so for this guy it's 5 to 5 cosine of 90 minus 69 squared cosine of 69. For this guy I got 58.76. Okay, so number five, I really have no idea, my friend helped me with this, he gave me the answer, so it, it's left circularly polarized, okay, and I'm not really sure if that's right or wrong, but whatever. And number six, suppose we can rotate this guy here, this angle. We can rotate the theta one to like make the intensity zero after this guy. So to make it zero, we need to make an angle 90 degrees with this guy because 90 um, cosine of 90 is zero. So what are the angles? We can we can have two angles. This guy rotated like this. So it's um, so when the, when the wave is coming like this. It's not going to pass through. And if we rotate this guy like this, it's still the same. It can't pass through. So we have two, um, two angles. Okay. Sorry, I didn't explain really well on this one, but I'll get back to you. I'll do another video if I had to. All right. Thank you, guys. Take care. Bye.